lifestyle investing, where we invest yeah. based off our lifestyle to build future lifestyle. Yeah, Mike, myself, and we got in the house. In the house. Yeah, man. Hey yeah. Good to be back. I know, good to be back. Second time around. It's Second the best time around. You didn't see the first one. It got lost into the ether. It's gone, um, which is okay. So Anna's back. Anna's a dear friend of mine. This is her first time that you're meeting her. Um, and so I'm really excited to have you on. Um, there's more stuff going on in your life today than there was back then. Yeah. Um, but we still want to get the whole breakdown. Um, Anna has an aerial yoga studio in Tacoma, Washington. And so I want you to talk about that. Tell me about what you do. Definitely want to hear about some sound healing and um, the story of how you got to where you're at today and then what's next. So sure. take it away and then I've got some other follow-up questions here. That's cool. Okay. So I guess we'll start with how I got to this point. So, um, let's see. So back, I've been a yoga instructor since 2012 okay. and I've always kind of felt drawn to the healing arts and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. and then in 2014 discovered aerial yoga through a job interview. Um, mm -hmm. and then started teaching at a studio up in Seattle for a year. After that, I then brought it down to Tacoma where I'm from and started my first uh, business there. So brought Ariel yes. from Seattle, first place in Tacoma. First place mm -hmm. in Tacoma. Yes. And yeah. is it three is it boxes or four boxes that you brought down? Brought down from <laughs> Seattle to Tacoma. Yeah. The whole It was so many truck. boxes. It was so many, so many hammocks. Boxes. So many hammocks. I've, All the hammocks, I've yeah. done aerial <laughs> yoga, and it's you're literally in hammocks, and it's kind of crazy because you're like, oh, this is relaxing, and they're like, no, it's not, because <laughs> it is a workout, and you are getting stressed. Well, it can be. It can, it can be. be, yeah. yeah. When you said healing arts, though, is it wrong that I immediately thought of finger painting? Because that's a healing art. That <laughs> it can be. Sure. Art can yeah. definitely be therapy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, okay. I'll, so absolutely. Tacoma. Moved to Tacoma. First person in Tacoma doing aerial. Yeah. yeah. And that was in 2015. Okay. So, yeah. I started my business in 2015. Was yeah. teaching out of an already existing studio. Was one of several teachers. Um, and then, finally, in 2017, decided it was time to open my own studio um, and that's what I've been doing since. So, yeah. What's the and, name of it? Uh, okay, so my business is called Uplift Yoga and yeah. Healing Arts. And Healing Arts. Uplift Yoga and Healing Arts. Yes. All one place. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uplift Yoga is how I know it, or just Uplift, because I see yeah. your posts on social media. And I'll put your links in the comments where people mm -hmm. can find Instagram, yeah. Facebook. Instagram, Facebook. Do you have a Twitter? I do, but I don't really post. Okay, it, so yeah. Um, yeah. Snapchat? Okay, because mm -hmm. I was looking online today because of that class. I'm doing yeah. that class. Trying to figure out what the next thing where people are going to be able to um, advertise for cheaper. Because Facebook ads, not only do they have yeah. crazy stories like mm -hmm. what we talked about where they kind of block your content sometimes, but also it's expensive. And so right now yeah. I think a lot of people are going to yeah. Snapchat. Um, Twitter's already getting expensive too, but I think Snapchat and Instagram are the more bang for your mm -hmm. buck, you know, mm -hmm. pennies on the dollar for what you're paying for Facebook. So I know there's more coming down the line. There's yeah. even like... Um, Musically, and there's some other places yeah, that you can start to advertise. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's new. Trying to there's figure new it ones. out I every day. Yeah, and I think the brand new ones you get the big bang for your buck because they're just trying to get a base of advertising. Right. You can go for pennies on the dollar and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, okay, so yeah, I don't want to totally interrupt your story, but I am excited about how you use social media. So if that fits in now, awesome. If not, yeah, I'd love to hear that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can we can talk about that. So. Um, I, I will admit, um, social media and marketing are not really my forte. That's mm -hmm. the part of my business that took me the longest to kind of get a handle on. Yeah. Um, in fact, I finally, uh, this year was able to get my Instagram following up quite a bit by finally hiring out someone else actually to nice. help me do oh, that, yeah. which I've definitely heard of that. I'll, I'm not going to lie guys. Sometimes that's what you yeah. got to do to like make your business numbers go up. Well, it boosts up so, credibility. Right, and it, it got my followers up quite a bit, and now Does it drive I have revenue? more exposure to... Does it drive revenue? Um, or have you been it's, doing it's it long enough to track it? It's too early to tell, okay. because, like, Instagram... For a long time, it was Facebook, was, like, my main yeah. way of, like, getting people through social media, through Facebook ads, event pages, things like that. Because mm -hmm. I would say my main moneymaker in my business right now is my events and my right. workshops every month. So I do... Okay, so besides aerial yoga, the other two things that I do are sound healing and Thai massage. So sound healing is um, it's basically using sound, music, frequencies, vibrations to heal people in a very specific way. And there's many tools you can use to do that. Um, 
in my classes, I use uh, singing bowls. Um, right. yeah. I also use tuning forks when I do like private sessions with people. Yeah. But so, for example, one of the things that um, is the most popular that people like are the floating sound baths I do where um, we basically do an hour of restorative aerial yoga, which is really nice and relaxing and gentle. And then once everyone comes inside uh, the hammock at the end in cocoon where you're just kind of laying down and relaxing that sounds nice. i then play or right i then do a sound bath for everyone mm-hmm. for at least 45 minutes to an hour and people love it mm-hmm. and i have also started to incorporate cacao into my um workshops as well yeah. cacao yeah. is basically the ancient form of yes what we call hot chocolate it's it's got different hot spices cocoa. and it's more um hot cacao. it's more raw, raw. yeah like raw, made from raw cacao basically um right. and so uh, to, to me that means it's, it's more traditional more gross. no it's actually oh, i make it really good okay. i make it tasty because if i'm thinking about making it out of cacao i'm like this is going to be too bitter you know what i mean oh, oh yeah no mean, but yeah. no i add honey and oh, all the right. other things okay. to it so it's good yeah. and yeah. it's really good for opening up the heart and kind of putting you in that space so I'm actually going to be doing, I'll plug this right now, a one, um, I'm going to be doing a Sound of Love uh, floating sound bath next month for Valentine's Day okay. and cacao. Mm-hmm. So we got to give this video up prior to yeah. Valentine's mm-hmm. Day. And Mike. it's going to be... <laughs> Me? I will. I know. And okay. it's going to be on, not the weekend after Valentine's Day, because I have another event, go two events going on that weekend. A partner aerial yoga workshop oh, okay. and a partner prenatal yoga Which workshop. Which is kind of Valentine's Day. So, right. And, that's, and then oh. the following weekend, I'm going to be doing the sound bath. Okay. So, sound of love. It's yeah. Kind of the sound of love, love. Floating sound yeah. bath. Yeah. It, it works. So, yeah. um, so that's kind of the main money maker right yeah. now. That's oh, the main thing. Yeah, John, and um, I think events are awesome yeah. when any company can do that because you are getting new people to your business to walk in the yeah. doors who may not have been there otherwise. And then they can go, oh, wait, you guys do this? You know, yeah, and I've actually gotten a lot of new students through yeah. signing up for my events, and then they're like, oh, this was fun, and then they want to start come taking regular classes. Right. So it's, yeah, it's a good kind of doorway opener. Have you done Ariel? Did no. you do it? No. Oh, okay. You, no. I know no, you're you your sister that I go to. Yeah, right. Together. I know. <laughs> Why don't I just done one of these days. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so what was the, so that's kind of the yeah. gist oh, of so how I got here. Social media. Yeah. Social media. Yeah, I so I would say Instagram it? and Facebook are the two I use most. They basically just for promoting events, you know, Instagram posting just pictures, mm-hmm. you know, um, which gets attention that way. And also yeah. using Facebook and Instagram ads, um, which, again, we've talked about Facebook is getting a right. little iffy with what that. Kind of content you could put yeah. On. So I'm, yeah. I might need to focus more on Instagram ads. Yeah. But... Um, other than that, yeah, social media, I mean, you know, if, if you don't have it for a business, you can't really do much. It's kind yeah. of a requirement. So, And for people out there who are kind of afraid or just even thinking about doing it, um, talk us through some of the numbers or details. In this show, we tend to give a lot of details and we're just kind of getting in there. So say, you know, how do you do it? Do you pay for click? Do you pay for view? Do you, like you said, okay. boost? I don't even really know what boost um, means. So, yeah, when you boost in a post on Facebook, yeah. obviously you're paying for it, right? And mm-hmm. I think you're paying per click, I believe okay. is how it works. And That's I think cool. it works the same with Instagram and Facebook. Um, it seems like they could charge per view as like scrolling on the screen. At least I saw it kind of thing. They could. I'm yeah. not exactly sure. Okay. Um, paying some dollar amount per click, maybe a little yeah. something per the view, or maybe that's part of the whole thing. But what they're how they're tracking what they're going to bill you for is how many people click on it. I believe. Do you so. pay up front? Or yeah. Come after? Okay. No, they. I think they bill you. They, they bill you on, after, like, like once you've already. But done. do you put like yeah. a max? Like I only want to spend a hundred bucks. Yeah, I usually okay. put a max. Okay. Of, like because then they'll just use a pretty low number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's mm-hmm. that makes me feel a little bit better about trying it out because I'm in the position now with mortgage where my company is going to approve ads that I can do. And I'll be able to start doing it on Facebook, Instagram, that kind of thing. Even a Money Mike video, I can put it on there and yeah. pay for ads. So I'm trying to figure out a little bit about how it works. And then um, for dollars to dollars, how much do you have to spend to get a new customer? Like, have you figured out that kind of number? Or maybe just some of your experience, maybe it costs $100 to get a new customer, $20, $10, To be $5. honest, that's a figure I do not have okay. and never have. Okay. I have never been able to figure out exactly what it is right. that keeps people coming to the door. I've tried to figure it out over the last yeah. four years, and it's always something different. 
honesty, honestly, yeah. full disclosure, yeah. most people find me by Googling me. Like straight up, they Google Aerial Yoga Tacoma and I'm the first to pop up. So I would yeah. actually rather talk about SEO because yeah, talk about SEO. that's really about what I feel like has gotten me to where I am. Like yeah. more so than any social media or, or ads or anything like that because that can be really hit or miss. And it's a good point, me. especially in um, my industry, it's a good point to say that yeah. ad sales are going to be um, sales because they're salesmen selling the ads. So it's like right now in my industry, Zillow's going crazy. Realtors are paying eight hundred dollars a month for maybe one lead. You know, and the Zillow people can right. say, "Well, yeah, but right. you're going to get three grand off that deal." But still, it's like, man, paying eight hundred dollars for one lead—that's crazy. But that's where it all will go right. when you're selling ads. Yeah. But when you're making a brand for yourself, that's the kind of thing that sells itself. Like that's the continual, long-term growth. Because and having, part of value of brand too. Right, right. and yeah. yeah, and it is. Yeah. And yeah. I would say. Yeah, like I really just made sure when I first built my website that all of the like requirements that were needed to put my page like up at the top so people could easily find me were there. And that seems to be the number one way people um, find out about us and word of mouth, like word mm -hmm. of mouth, right. advertising of always, you know, yeah. works. And um, yeah, in so fact, what about yeah. SEO? What? What else can you say about it or what have you done specifically to make sure that you're That I would just say it's super important and anyone starting a business, like focus on making sure your SEO is like up to snuff. So basically what I did was um, all of my pictures on my website, the tags in them are all the potential Google phrases that people could input Whoa. to find my business. So like Aerial Yoga Tacoma. Aerial Yoga Federal Way, mm -hmm. Aerial yeah. Yoga Seattle, Aerial Yoga whatever, Sound Healing whatever location, yeah. Thai Massage, like it's all in there. Yeah, and in so the anytime, yes, embedded. It, embedded in the pictures. So the that's picture actually how, up. that's actually how Google supposedly ranks people is the more photos you have tagged, at least that's one of the ways. Um, yeah. And the more phrases within your website that match those keywords. Yeah. Um, It'll it'll up your rankings like yeah. pretty quick, and that makes so, sense because they want people to click on stuff, right? And stay on yep. Google, and so yeah, you're putting it on a picture, you're embedding that picture with all that information, and it's gonna link it back to your website. Yeah, yeah. And so mm -hmm. I would say that's how, um, that's probably the best thing I could have done, like initially when I started my business, was making sure Doing my website and all of that was yeah easy to navigate, organize, and yeah, would actually. Mm -hmm pop up on the Google search right. page. And, and what I'm thinking about when I go look for a company, I don't even go to their website. I kind of type in, say if I was going to type in Aerial Yoga Tacoma, and then I would like look on the right to see if there's a phone number. You know what I'm saying? Like I might oh, yeah. on Oh yeah, I have Google page, all yeah. my yeah, exactly, information is there, I pictures. And I, I don't even go to the next level yeah. of going to the website. I'm like, hey, what company's here? Do I see a phone number already? Let me just call them up. Yeah. yeah. Because mm -hmm. do you get people setting appointments online or do you get them on your phone? Is it both? I get emails and phone calls. I okay. prefer email just because, right. uh, to be honest, the the it's day. easier yeah. to keep yeah. track of email. And yeah. um, frankly, most of the questions I get uh, via phone are questions that can be answered by going to my website. Like, what are your prices and what oh, are your yeah. schedule? Go read the website, guys. Yeah. I can't sit yeah. here and read off every oh, single yeah. thing to all of have you. Have you ever tried, because on the SEO part, mm -hmm. have you ever tried blogging? I haven't, but I know that that is another way that you yeah. can get your website like up to the top of the rankings is if you have, yeah, blogs yeah. with like your keywords in them. Um, I just personally, I haven't really delved much into the world of blogging. I've read blogs, but I am not much of a writer, so... If I were to put blogs on my website, it would probably be hiring else, hiring out somebody right, else to, really to cool. do it. Yeah. And then I don't understand exactly how that would work. Would you put a blog on your own page, or would mm -hmm. you put a blog on blog space, blog space link to your? You could do both. You could do okay. both. You could partner, yeah. or you can have a whole okay. tab on it. Okay. Definitely. Like tab on your website yep. of blogs, and then that's just gonna get. Why is a blog a thing? Is it just it is, or is it? Because there's mm -hmm. keywords you can put out there like Google oh, okay. search. Well, yeah. they'll, they'll be like, link you to the blog. Yeah, and it could be anything. I could go on there yeah. and be like, hey, how to heal my back. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. she and writes the whole like, thing, how to heal my back. Yeah. And then it goes in there and you're like, oh, okay. are you? And I'm going to go there. Okay. Yeah, so, exactly. So, yeah, yeah that's that really makes the best sense. way. 
and it can be more topical things too. Exactly. That'll make it, hey, I'm writing about China mm-hmm. and blah blah yeah. blah, and then somebody searches China and oh, yeah. it's popping up. Right. Well, the beauty about oh, yeah. doing that stuff like that too is yeah. like a chiropractor could see that and be like, oh. You know, Anna knows how to fix bags. Let's partner or something like that. Right. Throw her blog on there. Yeah. Or like put her flyer in my send chiropractor out, and then yeah, like do stuff like that. Clientele or oh, something. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And okay, actually, cool. I just, funny, I just signed up for um, or downloaded this app maybe like a week ago called Align or Alignable, one of the two, one of those. So and it's, it's basically a referral app. So, yeah. you know, like it basically went through like my contacts list and was like, oh, this person does this, there's a potential connection and blah, blah, blah. So wow. actually that's another thing. If people want to get alignable. referrals alignable, it's a new thing. That's um, awesome. I haven't really used it yet cause it's, I just downloaded it, you know, what but, um, it, but it's there, so okay. you can use it. So and, we'll go uh, my contacts and say, Hey, did you know this person's a real estate agent? This person's an insurance salesman. Oh yeah. It'll do that for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can, I, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, you find baller? out. Yeah, baller. <laughs> Bernie, this so person Bernie is a baller. Bernie, baller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, I would say, yeah, definitely getting good SEO rankings is yeah. key to yeah. marketing and putting your business out there in front of enough people. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for that, I don't know if I would be at the point I'm at right now yeah. just because – between all the other things I've tried, that is consistently across the board the one thing that people always say. They they I find me by Googling me. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Which is awesome. And I love so, it when I get a phone call or somebody Googles, you know, my YouTube channel and somehow they find me. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, an awesome yeah. thing. Uh-huh. Um, so it feels good. And it's like, thank you, Google. You know, they're like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So you talked about where you're at right now and what you've been doing to get there. I know there's big stuff on the horizon. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Talk about yes. some plans yep. um, and just kind of put it out there. And then, yeah, okay. I really want to hear what's going on. So I guess this will be my first kind of unofficial announcement, but um, that I've decided since the beginning of this year, 2019, that yeah. I want to move to Hawaii and follow my lifelong dream. Yeah. And awesome. uh Go, you know, be a beach bum and learn to surf and swim yeah. with the dolphins and all the things that I've always wanted yeah. to do. So, and move my business from here to there. And yeah. basically, so I'm kind of at a point in my business where I'm in the middle of a big transition. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, what I've been doing, in their lives and yeah, like yeah. What I've been doing for the last few years is focusing more on, right, like teaching group classes and, you know, Really, I've kind of been focusing more on like, you know, new students coming in because they all obviously need like the most help um, and the most guidance. And at this point in my career, what I really would like to focus on is is doing more of the advanced stuff. So doing more teacher trainings, retreats, awesome. mm-hmm. um, special workshops and events and trying to draw in more of a clientele that like want really really wants this like they're not just coming in to like try it one time you know they want to actually like have a committed practice like they really want to learn and grow as much as they can within the sphere of yoga and aerial yoga and all that stuff um because I've realized that's just what my heart is calling me to do right now um and I feel like I could definitely make a new home base for myself yeah. in Hawaii. I feel like I've, I'm grateful for all of my opportunities here in Tacoma over the last four years. I feel like it's set a great foundation for me. Um, but there's nothing that says you can't take your business from one right. city mm-hmm. to the next, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. So, um, and I feel like what, especially with retreats and teacher trainings, Hawaii is kind of a perfect place because right. it's, Everybody wants to go there. Yeah, everyone wants to go there. It's still part of the United States, you know, so it's a little bit cheaper to get there, at least if you're a U.S. citizen, than it would be. Right, you don't need a passport. You can Um, go on a tropical retreat. Yeah, and you can still feel like you're going to, you know, Fiji or Bali or something, but it's closer to home. Yeah, and teacher training. So you're in your your mission and purpose as a person, and I know you, it's to set people free. It's to... You realize yeah, that there's more to this world than see, making than, than people feel good in their bodies. Yeah, mm-hmm. like there's there's something behind and bigger than all this that we're experiencing in the physical realm. And I know you believe that. And you want to yep. break people out of that darkness, show them light, 
And the cool thing about teaching mm -hmm. teachers is that you get to impart that and your your spread, you know, like, you know, exponentially growing because everybody you exactly. touch, everybody that they exactly. touch. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. It's a ton of work, but it's a concentrated value. So you're going to be getting paid as much or more than if you're teaching a class every day when you're just doing maybe two workshops. Exactly. So exactly. it's a perfect thing for Hawaii. And then, yeah, you and I have talked about before the real estate opportunities, even, you know, partnering and getting multifamily and renting out and, you know. Yeah, that too, so that you know, exactly. It's a real home base there. And mm -hmm. you can, so, yeah, I see there's so many reasons why for Hawaii. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I know. It's really awesome. Hopefully, yeah. well, exciting. I will yeah. be there in a few well, months. Yeah, I believe um, you're going to do it. Yeah. I think the win is probably the only variable, but I just know I can feel it and I can yep. see it. And yeah, it's happening. how awesome is that? I mean, <laughs> Hawaii definitely is a place for yoga. I mean, that's just, it's that show place, people in yeah. touch. There's mm -hmm. a more of a, like a deeper connection with self that I think about when I think about Hawaii. So, and yeah. nature yeah, and nature for sure. everything. Mm -hmm. And there's already like several, so in looking into it, there's already several, you know, retreat centers there on, you know, several of the islands yeah. and, um, I also do want to continue teaching maybe just a few group classes a week, like at already existing studios. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. try and connect with mm -hmm. them. Um, you know, cause I, there is something I like about being able to go in like and see people on like a daily basis and be yeah. like, Oh, how's your life? What's going on with you? And all yeah. of that, like have a community. But, um, yeah. you know, as far as my main focus, yeah, I, I'm kind of moving away from yeah. that and more towards the, advanced stuff. So right now I'm in the middle of start starting to write a teacher training manual okay, nice. and sequ wow. sequencing and coming up with that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Because that's wow. been a long time coming yeah. and it's, it's about time. Um, and I do feel like this is the year for me to finally do my own teacher training, whether it's yeah. in Hawaii or somewhere else. Um, oh, I feel me. like, yeah. Do you have a, a training? Is there still tickets available for your, is it South America? No. no. So I am actually officially canceling oh, my okay. Nicaragua retreat because okay. no one has signed up. So okay. Okay. I've realized that it's not meant to be right now. Well, that's okay. Then and maybe that, there'll I'm be a bigger, energy. better yeah, yeah, exactly. place meant for me to go yeah. have a retreat. So yeah, I'm open. Awesome. And um, I'm hoping, cross my fingers, that there will be at least one place in Hawaii that I can maybe do a retreat at before the end of this year okay. so nice. um yeah. that would be awesome and i love the idea of going to the existing yoga places and getting a couple nights a week because it's going to be income yep. and yeah. you're going to make the connections mm -hmm. and it's going to get you into the scene yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i still want to yeah. keep that going yep. yeah um and i should probably also mention so i just competed in my first aerial competition mm. this last weekend in portland aerial olympics yeah. yay okay, it was so, cool. so much fun learned a lot it was a good challenge for me and made me realize that I actually do enjoy doing more of like the advanced stuff. And it brought me back to my old dance roots and having to awesome. choreograph things and, the and yeah. yeah. And come up with a routine yeah, and, and the, practice and train media. and be diligent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you guys want to watch the video of my yeah. performance, it's on Facebook. Awesome. And I'll put the, um, links. I'll put the yeah. links below. Yes. Right here. Yeah. But I know that we're, pretty close to out of time, but I want to see if you have any finishing thoughts. Yeah. Um, let's see. So yeah, really it's just, yeah, I think 2019 is really about me taking my business that I've been building here in Tacoma, taking it to the next level and hopefully making more connections, you know, over in Hawaii and, uh, and beyond and in the greater, you know, in worlds and globe you yeah. know so i can do international uh retreats and things like that as well and um also uh yeah focusing more on one-on-one -on -one sessions with people maybe i'll end yeah. there and yeah. really using my healing gifts to heal people on a deeper level which i have also found over the last year i really enjoy working one-on-one -on -one with people it, it i feel like i get both of us get more out of it than in a group setting because i can focus more on what they actually need. And I do, so my sessions are a little bit unique. I combine Thai massage with sound healing and I have this special voice analysis software that actually literally um, like breaks down all the notes in your voice and maps them out on a graph. And according to the graph, like it helps me actually know what areas I need to focus on more. Awesome. And every time I've done that, 
I'll do an analysis before the session and after, and every single time it changes. Like whatever area we worked on, that note suddenly like comes way Whoa, back up. It's crazy. Trippy. So I need to try that. Um, I love that kind yeah, of stuff. You, yeah, you should definitely try yeah. it. And I have this really cool sound mat that people like it. lay on. Jordan and loves it. My it's like getting a sound it. massage yeah. at the same time as you're getting a body massage. Like yeah. it's oh, it's, it's so great. Cool. So yeah. I would love to be able to write, do more um, one on one sessions like that with people, teach classes, retreats, teacher trainings, maybe do more performances and gigs and things like that. Who knows? Yeah. Right. You know, just. Um, yeah, really taking all of the skills and knowledge and everything I've gathered over the last four or five years and putting it all down on paper and then, yeah. you know, putting it out there for the, the rest of the world to, to take in and yeah, just spread the love and the light, right? Awesome. Any way I can. Yeah, yep. exactly. So follow Anna and Uplift Yoga on all the social media sites. Look for the Valentine's Day and love the, the, uh, yes. what's it called? The... The sound of sound love, of love. Sound, sound bath. Yes. February twenty second. Yep. Right. February And I will see yep. you for the voice thing because I'm excited about that. Oh yeah. Thank you, Anna. Yes. I'm so Thank glad you. that you're here. And if you're watching this, it's because we got the video on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank Make God, it happen. Right? Yeah, exactly. Peace.